This is the uh, Haas TL1 tool room lathe, new 2008. Yeah, uh, you can walk around here a little bit, take a look at things. Uh, doors are closed out, we have to pop things open here. It does have the collet uh, changer in there right now. Spindle guard's going to have to stay down for us running it, but... Uh, it's got the collet changer. It's got the add-on turret indexer. Servo. Yeah, servo-driven, programmable, yeah. It's in there. It's in the, the program that we're going to run is in there, so... And uh, tailstock back here with the uh, lock down below down here, which I've got loose right now, but I wasn't sure when it zeroed out. We've already zeroed the machine. We're ready to go. And there's the quill. And then, of course, you can bring that out if I want. That's good. And we've got chuck unchuck here. This is the add-on for the, for the collar change. This, this is me. It's just pneumatic. It's not electrically interlocked. It's just a manual collar chuck. Works nice. Coming around the side here. We can uh, see the spindle box. I'm going to close this up a little bit, maybe. Spindle box. And here's the collar closer up here. Coming around the back side, we'll take a look at the electric panel. This is the regulator and everything for the collar closure still. This is my 220 temped in three phase coming in. And of course, the panel itself. Pretty standard house equipment, the four drives. The extra drive is for the uh, turret indexer. Main board down there. Off to the left side, there's the rest of the air incoming. Which is the main air for the turret. So, got that. Coolant pan down below. I've got the water hose, the garden hose is kind of hanging out of it right now, which all plugs into this unit here. And of course, the door is open. Kind of see all of that. Oh, we did the around. book. The book up top. Oh, yeah. Book's over here. Yeah, if you want to show it, sure. Got a manual, right up on top of the cabinet here, I forgot all about it. Yep. And, uh, yeah, just Haas basic control up here. We're in manual mode. We can just move some axes around right now and then jump into a program and uh, let it fly. It's only a couple minutes long. I can open this up a little bit, maybe you can see a little bit better. I've got to leave this one closed, but for manual operation, I might be able to do the manual movement. I'm not even sure if I have to have that closed or not. Let's see, just to move the Z around. Oh no, that'll give me that. And of course I can go slow. Just barely see the hand wheel moving, but we're clocking up here on Z. So, I'm just going real slow here. Or rapid. Rapid, you can see how better on uh, physically right at the slide here. So it's real slow movement and then so yeah, barely moving. So that's that. X, same way. Slow movement on X. This is barely going. And I can jump it up a notch. It's a little bit faster. Whoops, there we go. guy here. So we leave that right there, bring spindle on, and again, I'm, I don't think it'll let me run spindle here, but I could try it. Let me see, forward. No, it's not going to give it to me there. I think I need the cover closed. I've got it. Oh, there it is. That's all I was waiting for. It's going. <laughs> so we're at 1100 right now. I just to step it down so you can hear it. There's 900, 7, 6. Now you guys see, the best you can do is look in there, but it's just a cow that's spinning through. I can, there's 400 there. We'll take it up to full up. There's 600, 8,000, 12, 14. One more to 
go. Right there. Let's pull out. Two thousand. I believe that's it. I'll leave it at thirteen hundred. Stop it and reverse it. Right here. You'll hear it. Thirteen or fourteen hundred in reverse. Once more forward. Stop it. And forward. Yeah, that all's good. So I'm gonna hit it there. Leave it right there. Get up in the memory here. We got a program right up there. So, uh, which is that guy there? And we can show the page at the same time with what um, I'm running as far as the program's concerned. And I'm just gonna hit cycle start and let it fly. And you kind of watch this thing here. I think we get an index right away. There's a couple of indexes here. There's some movement around on the slides. I do have to leave the hood down, so we kind of get in here. And here we go. I just let it go. And there's an index, yeah. And I sped up the I sped up the uh, feed just so we kind of get through it in a couple of minutes here. So pretty much shows what it can do though. Funny well. People probably wish they could machine that fast, but we're moving. You should probably see it walking through the program here a little bit. I think it's about four pages deep. There's a lot in there. They have some intricate parts set up on there, I guess. Yeah. And back down here. I think we have less than a minute to go, maybe. And passes right here and that might be about it. We're getting close. There we go. Now there's a chamfer it looks like. Yep. And end of program. There it is. It's a good running machine. Open up maybe. Now we're open. Good to go.